Hey, welcome back, Rogue Techers. We are here at Deidre's Den, and I know I said last episode we were going to try and find another mission here to do, but um, there's nothing that's like around two skulls that's perfect for us, so we're going to move over here to uh, um, Andrian. Um, I'm just going to do a quick travel, set course. Um, we've got nine days to get there, 13 days to financial report, so we'll be able to drop in, uh, pull off a mission real quick, and hopefully get enough money for uh, or salvage for... Um, before the next um, financial report. I'm hoping that our um, Panther, second Panther works a little better today. Um, that Martian environment was a little har harsh on our um, heating and partially as a result it uh, we lost our arm and torso last time. Luckily no important components were destroyed which is great. But this time we're going to try and do something a little different with them I think. So we're going to check the store once we arrive. Something, you know, unless you're particularly, um, you have all the stuff you want, you should always check stores because you never know when you're going to find something half decent in there. Not that we can actually buy anything at this point anyway, but here's another thing that would be nice. 172,000. So maybe we can find a good mission here, be able to pick that up. I found double heat sink kits in here too, um, on the periphery. So there's that. Um, so let's quickly go to contracts, um, let it load up real quick, and then we'll head into the barracks to uh, upgrade our mech warriors before we drop to the ground. All right, looks like there might be a few here. Nice, we got some Circanus Federation two skull missions here. Cool. All right, so let's go to the barracks. I'm going to upgrade our mech warriors here before we drop. Um, so let's see here, blank spare, let's bring our piloting up. Training um, for flatliner, he's got nothing we can do here. Ground zero, nothing. Uh, Height, okay, we got the op opportunity for more piloting, which I think we're going to do. I want that plus one max evasion. Um, that's going to come in really handy because he's always so mech close to the enemy. I'm here. Payroll, still nothing. And Vane Skater, um, we talked about making sure he gets his piloting up again. Um, but I'm thinking maybe at this point it might be better to go down the tactics route and have him stay on the outside of the battlefield, but not really sure just yet. So um, let's go contracts here. All right, so let's have a good look here. Uh, we want to stay around two skulls, I think. Um, two, two and a half. So there's no two and a half skull missions. So there's a few good two skull missions here. Taking the bait. Um, heavy mech with local gov government heraldry, uh, raiding party, local pirate organization, forward observers, pirate military units. So that's a battle in the desert, battle in the desert, and battle in the desert. So let's just take, well, forward observers probably because it's got the one with the most amount of cash, but I don't know. Let's give it a shot and see what happens. Our scouts have observed a pirate military pirate military units covertly surveying military and industrial targets. This increased activity from the local pirate organization near several priority facilities suggests a strike is coming soon. We're tasking you with intercepting the scout lance that's identifying targets and eliminating it before it can report back. Okay, cool. That's what we do, man. All right. Full cash. This should cover our drop and hopefully our repair bill. And hopefully we can get some good salvage out of this. Okay, four mechs on the ground. Let's sweep the area and find these guys and get rid of them. So, why do I feel like we're going to get reinforcements? This is a pretty big map board. Uh, I just have to guess which side they're coming from. So since we can't guess, then we need to decide what's going to give us the best terrain advantage and I'm thinking if we head this way and get between these rocks somewhere in here probably whichever side they come from we can align ourselves so that we have stuff in between us and the reinforcements so let's do that we're gonna reserve back to turn one again 
I mean, there's no real we advantage on this map to do this, but we're going to do it anyway. Okay, let's get up forward and right, stay in the trees. Okay, we got one contact. Let's see what they do here. Yeah, I got a feeling there's going to be reinforcements. Making sure that we are in the forest. So I really need to figure out what I'm going to do with this panther. Um, ECM systems are a good idea, I guess. Standing by. So I got to maybe target picking up a couple of ECM systems. Gyros are still important. The XL gyros are important. Extra three tons is huge difference on Stand mechs. On my way. So I can't get in the trees, so we'll just go right up here. Lance is slowly becoming more powerful. Okay, so we're going to en engage this guy from here. Because we don't want anybody else attacking us. So we're going to sprint up here. Find out who he is. So we can get behind this hill here. Using the train to our advantage. Now both these guys can't target us. And this is what? A fire starter PM. So this is the same fire starter that I started off with. So let's leave that off. So our heat sinking is 85% of normal. So running just the ERPPC is going to give us a uh, pretty uh, um, flush heat on our mech. Okay, so he's decided to move first. Not sure what he's doing here. So where did he go? Way over here? I, I don't even know what to say to that. Um, Ready for orders. Other than, okay. Let's move forward. Keep our flank if we can to these guys as best we can so if they come around they're hitting our side. Um, large laser and tag, fire them both. He's hard to hit, but we're still going to give it a shot. No luck. Now I'm just unsure now if I want to engage in a flamer battle with this guy. If we attack him from the rear. I mean, I guess we could just melee him, could we not? So if we do it from behind, it's only 27%. Um, we're going to reserve. Let's see what these guys do. Reserving back to turn two. Hope it's not eight light max. I really going to be disappointed if that's the case. So that's ten missiles. Centurion, maybe. But if he's a light mech, it can't be a centurion. But I guess they both went on turn three, so wasn't really watching and I should have been I guess so sprint do we want to move in we can move away Affirmative in the next turn if we're in over our head here so yes yeah, so this is Ansazi medium mech RL 10s plasma torches okay half decent amount of armor vindicator 1a this guy's got barely any armor but I want to I think shut this guy down for a turn. So we're going to, I mean, we're not going to hit him with everything, obviously, but we're going to fire okay. all our flamers. Two hits. Okay, I'll, I'll take that. Commander. Then Flatliner, we're just going to walk him over to here. Moving to position. And we're going to unload on the uh, fire starter here. I don't want him sprinting back in, it back in here and doing some damage, so let's turn these off. Actually, can I turn this on? Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, not a lot of damage, but maybe enough to shake him up a bit. So Height is going to run out of there. Sure, buddy. Do your worst. Bad move, Peaches. What are your orders, Skipper? Okay, I don't want to be... Cannot have... My back to those guys, but I can do this. I got you. So we're going to sprint back. Just try a couple flamers on him. It's not a big deal, but we needed to be out of there anyway. So we're just going to shoot, like, two flamers. Save a bit of heat on this guy. Let's see what you got. Stand still, moron. Oh, he ain't going to stand Keep still for you, brother. Okay. Affirmative. This is why you do not run into the midst of players. Everything on his back. Reporting critical hit. All right, ground zero. Same thing. Full speed, no target. Oh, we got a target, all right. It's this guy right here. And we're close. I'll leave the laser off. Oh, now was that a head hit? Hostile eliminated. I blew his head right off. Which means we're going to get good salvage out of that. That's great. So we're just going to reserve. Let's shot. force them to move. So they are two mediums, which is good. Hopefully there's reinforcements coming that are medium max. It's moving nice and slow right now. So there must be more guys coming. That would fall into the medium bracket. So the Vindicator presenting himself as a target, having a hard time against a 5 uh, Chevron Evasion Fire Starter. So Flatliner, we're definitely going to want to move. So we're going to move him over here. Onward. And we're going to unload against the Vindicator. Nice, fat, juicy target. We're going to turn off the 37% chance to hit, just to manage our heat a bit. That's a fine how do you do. So now we got three guys to go before them. So, first things first, we are going to want to move height. Probably right here. I've got eyes on hostile uh, of course you do. Where? So they are coming from this side, and that's it. Okay. So. First things first, we're going to unload one, two, three, four, five flamers on this guy with a great chance to hit. Is that only two hits? Come on, man, you got to hit with more than that. Receiving you. Okay, main skater, full sprint. Uh, let's stay in the trees. We can still use the flamers on him, so let's do that. Full Max evasion, trees for defense. Firing everything on this guy. So the tag hit, which is really important. Waiting for orders. Ground zero, we're gonna sprint him out here as well. Creating a little bit of a shield for the trebuchet. Unloading on the Vindicator. So I want this guy gone. So we are gonna go this route. Uh no, let's leave the medium off for now. Engaging target. So he's tagged as well. I think I hit something good. I think you did as well. And if he doesn't move first, then we're going to unload all our missiles on him and he's going to be in trouble. Yeah, he's moving back. But that jump is not going to do anything for stability. Now, the question is, can we still see him? We can. His stability is bad. I'm receiving you. So we're going to move over here where we can get a full shot in on him. And we're going to unload on this guy right here. Uh, yeah. Let's go with everything. I want to try and knock this guy out of here. 
Torso gone. That's another pilot health hit, and he's going to fall. And he will be unconscious. Thank you for the salvage. Two down. So we've almost handled the uh, initial scout lands here before the reinforcements have come in, which is a good thing. So this guy's a medium mech coming in, I'm hoping. Only because I want the salvage. Although that PPC is telling me that it's probably another Vindicator or something. At this point though, if I had to get rid of the Panther, I'd take a Vindicator for sure. Watch the flank. Here comes the missiles. Not at that close range, buddy. Not with five shot runs of evasion at this level. Well, Height, he uh, did want to come to the barbecue, so um, what do you say? Actually, you know what? I think if we stay there, let's just move back here. Let's be a little shifty. We're going to cool off. And then Vein Skater. Going to move over here. And we're going to target this guy from the side. He's still overheating. There's no reason why we need to push this guy to the limit. We're going to fire two flamers. Like, he's still got way overheated here, right? No joy. We could have shut him down, but, uh, you know, risking the the fire starter at this point is not a good idea. So we're just going to move over here. Uh, we got really good chances to hit, so let's go with both lasers. Rockets I'm going to save, so let's fire them both. Right leg destroyed. I'll come back in initiative phase. Then we're going to come around with a trebuchet and try and take that other leg. Okay. I'm your so it is another, there's another medium mech coming from somewhere. So we're just going to walk over. No Roll point in it. running. Everything on the other leg. Although, what's the pilot hit at? We don't know. I think it was only one head hit, right? We could go after the head. It's plus one head injury head hit our cockpit. So let's go up to the leg. I said leg, not torso. What are you doing, guy? Another head hit, anyway. Reporting critical hit. Nice. I want the leg, though, buddy. That was like both torsos and only a little bit of leg damage. Come on. You know you want a melee. Let's go. Move in. Wow. Putting an inexperienced pilot in that mech is a bad idea. <laughs> sure, why not? Um, how do I want to play this now? What's up, boss? Those guys still can't see us, and they won't be able to next turn. So we're going to walk our ass... Uh, here. And right, we're going to attempt to take that other leg off. So we're going to go... How much has it got left? This way, this way. Ah, leave the tag on, why not? We might get a head hit out of it. Did I get the leg, or did I miss? Where did I hit? Oh, maybe I didn't get the leg because he's in the trees. That's probably why. That is why he's got four left. <laughs> okay. What's up, Bob? Let's get some cooling on you. We're just going to uh, rotate slightly. And we're going to go with this and no large laser. Firing. Just needed one. Just needed one hit on the leg. One is all I was asking for. Anybody? Bueller? Fry? Can we get... I wonder if I should engage that guy, though. Jesus. I'm going to, like, severely roast this guy and kill him now. Oh, God. I can't get to his side. Here, maybe? Still target him, right? Yeah. Double time. Let's go. 
That way we have lots of evasion. And then we will target this guy. Now I could do an offensive push on him to knock him back one just in case we miss that leg. We're going to fire with two flamers because these things do a lot of damage on overheating mechs. My right, torso, that should be enough for the pilot. Knock him down. Reporting. Knock him down, knock him down. Oh, for Christ's sake. What times I gotta shoot this guy? I'm okay. Here. You got multi target. How do we multi target, though? We can't really. Can I target both these guys from here? What do you know? But then I won't be able to uh, choose a leg hit, though. Okay, we've got lots of armor. Let's move to here. Maximize that potential for side hit. Turning off the ro the uh, missiles, shooting just for the leg. Got it, Commander. Okay, we might get some stuff out of that. Farewell, sweet prince. Maybe we'll see. We've decreased our heat a little bit too. Yeah, he's running. Don't have your spotter anymore, do you, buddy? Ready to rock. Looks like it might only be two mechs, so let's go in and say hi. Hi, Skipper. Full speed. No nope. Target. More guys coming. Let's hope they're all uh, medium mechs. Okay. Vindicator. Let's invite him to the barbecue. Three hits. Not bad. The only problem with not getting this guy to almost maximum heat is that, um, 37, eh? Well, Understood. is that he might melee and they can do, medium max can do some serious damage to lights. So we gotta worry about that. We're just gonna fire the two flamers and the tag. No flamer hits, unfortunately, but the tag did hit, which is a good thing. Orders. We are going to move over here and the reason why I'm doing this is I don't I want this other mech to try and target this panther as opposed to targeting my flamer units um, so this is a blackjack 3T same one we faced before uh, but let's shoot this guy we're gonna have to decide to uh, swap out attacks in a minute here so let's multi-target actually we're gonna shoot this guy and this guy the second one's gonna get the tag Engaging multiple targets. Nice. No, not the tag though. 90%, but not the tag. That's a miss. Yeah, that is a miss, buddy. No, 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 no. You want to shoot me? Okay. No, no, medium. Machine guns is fine. As many machine guns as you want to use. Just go right ahead. Oop. Where did I go here? Way over there. Okay, so let's move. Will be done. Uh, sprint. Yeah. Confirm. So the reason why I'm coming over here is I want to remove this vindicator as fast as possible. The best way to do that is bore through the side that I've already hit, and we are going to go this route. Okay, so that should make him think about staying in battle. He should probably run, most likely. Unless he's a brave pilot. The torso's almost gone. Well, I don't know. Sure, why not? You're still going to be overheating and we're going to burn the crap out of you next turn. Wolverine! We want Wolverine parts. So our target's now changed. Skipper? Skipper? Move. Definitely the advantage of having light mechs over medium. If you can get them to a point where, you know, the weapon systems are just as good as mediums, although you don't have the armor, the fact that you can go first, there's four hits on them. The fact that you can go first means that you can really outclass these guys really quickly if you have the right weapon systems. 
I mean, we're just, right now, we're just overpowering these guys, right? And there's not much they can do about it. So this guy's going to shut down. So they're going to hang on to that guy. Good to go. Now we're going to move to a point where we can shoot this Vindicator. Because I want him gone. So we're going to move into here. Hopefully enticing that uh, Blackjack to shoot my Panther. Um, just with the PPC we're going to fire and the tag. Okay, so that I think was probably a leg hit it looked like. Vindicators generally have uh, very low leg armor. So I wonder if we should... Yes, Commander. I'm only going to move a little bit. I want to entice that blackjack okay. to shoot my trebuchet now. Got lots of armor. So we're going to unload everything except for the small, I think, on the side of this Vindicator. Let's hope for a leg. Locked on target. Let's leg him. Come on. No. He's absorbing a lot of the damage by being in the forest and fortified, so it's not much I can do about that. What are you doing? So that's a melee attack. Attack my right side all you want, buddy. I don't care. It's the left side. I need to protect it. Oh. Fine, you want to overheat me? Go ahead. I'm starting to cook. Ready to rock. So let's Better. move back here. Move order received. And we're going to go medium laser. And I think we're going to shoot the rock. Well, maybe not. Affirm. So he's tagged again. Height. We're going to back up just a little bit. A little bit of evasion. Four flamers on this guy again. Should probably be enough. There's the four. Okay, so he shut down. So now we can repurpose Vein Skater. How's it going? And we're going to move him to probably here. Moving out. We're going to turn off the flamers. Put the large laser on, and we're going to shoot at the Vindicator here. I want this guy gone. Actually, you know what? We got lots of ability to be able to fire everything. Oh, the heat. I see it's out of range. Nice! Left leg. Or right leg, I mean. Now that hit something good. Sure did, buddy. Okay. Battle mech power up detected. That's fine. Now, Flatliner. They had to do that, and generally it's a mistake, especially when you've got a uh, mech that can target you in the rear. Um, this guy is fortified, but still he's going to take a lot of damage. One in the back. I think things are going swimmingly. Now I could have targeted the mech on the ground, but he's pretty much not going to do much. This guy's going to melee, really. Feel free, I'm targeting you in the back next round again anyway. And he'll stand up. Not sure what he's going to do. Not what you can do. Although turning your back, hey there. once again, not a good idea. Affirmative. Firing everything. Copy that. Height, just going to stand there once again. Flamers. So now that I think these other two mechs are tied up, we're going to move height around to the front. Standing by. So we're going to move back with this guy. Uh, we want to target... Wait a second, which side? The Vindicator's got his left leg left. So we're going to move... What's up, boss? left side. Although I don't want to make it so that I can reveal my uh, back to um, the blackjack there. So let's do this. Aye, aye. And maybe we'll call shot. We got it, so let's use it. Shooting here. PPC. And firing. 
There it is. That's a kill. So I like to keep my uh, offensive shots to later on in the game, most of the time. Um, because when you're, down, when you're down to just a few mechs, it's good to just be able to, like, I'm here. use them to get, maximize your salvage. So we're going to open up on this guy again with everything. Firing at enemy I'm not really a Blackjack fan, so if he dies, I, I don't really care. This just in. Critical, Critical hit. hit. Somebody is dropping a load in his pants right about now. Alright, so height. Uh, yep. Let's get you to a different location. I'm there. Just gonna walk it over. A little bit overheating, but we're gonna go with three this time. Three hits. And we'll get Van Skater back over to help you out. Standing by. Just gonna walk it over. Firm. Turning the large laser off. Alright, let's do So now he's overheated again. It's nice that Wolverines have lots of armor. Alright, uh, I'm just going to walk around behind this guy. Boom. I don't. Alright, we're just going to walk Flatliner over here. Just brace, get a little bit of heat sinking going because we're going to start targeting his head in a second here. So height, once again, straight up attack without moving. Four flamers. This should overheat him again. And now we can use Vein Skater. Just going to walk him in close. And we're going to target his head. He's not panicking though. I'm shocked he's not panicking. Just gonna walk it over once again. We are going to use an offensive push on him. Uh, the only reason why I'm doing that is because I want to be able to use um, flatliner when he's overheated. Any head hits? Nothing. My flamer is empty. Eh. Ready for orders. Actually, Flatliner's not going to move. I fire from here. And we're going to leave the LRMs out. How much has got left in the leg here? 50? Let's try for a leg shot. Engaging target. Oh, come on. Just shoot the leg for crying out loud. Ooh, that hit something good. Okay, he's stressed now. Battle mech power up detected. You'd think your mech Skipper. melting around you would be like more stressful than I got you. being shot at with a few couple of lasers, but apparently it's not, so... Okay, I'm just shifting sides now because of the damage it's done to the other side. Okay, he's panicked. Overheated. So let's go with ground zero yep. next. Um, I wonder if we can just... Should just do an offensive push on him? Let's try for the leg. Can we get the leg? Oh, not enough. Okay. Commander? Main skater moving over. And we're just going to use two flamers. Randomly oh, yeah. firing. That should overheat him. He's not panicking, though. Come on, panic! Carl, darn it. Order. So again, oh, how much has he got left in the CT? Not much. Four. Uh Roger that. You can't even shoot that leg, eh? You can't even shoot the leg. Battle mech power up detected. Ready to rock. Shut him down, please. Copy that. There we go. There we go. We wanted to maximize the Wolverine salvage because we do have other Wolverine pieces. So let's see if we can finally get a Wolverine 
to replace this stupid panther. My god. That took a while, but it was well worth it. Lots of medium max, lots of salvage. Okay, so we're looking for things like ultralight gyros. Um, if we can't get stuff that we we know we can um, use on our max, we're going to just go for maximum stuff for uh, for sale because we're going to have to make a do make do with our uh, um, thing here. So we've got a good chance to get a Wolverine. There's more flamers we don't really want. Oh, well, we do, but they're very low in the totem pole right now. Ooh, armor NSS. Hmm. Triple XL engine. There's our money. Um. Mask. Partial wing system. And a composite, which we don't need. Now, was there any ferro fibers? I didn't see any. I guess not. Oh, yeah, there was. So let's take some ferro. Um. ECM Guardian. That would work in the Panther if we don't get the Wolverine. What else could we take though? Rocket launchers, no. Rifle, no. PPC, no. Medium laser, eh. Flamer, eh. I'm hoping to really retire these flamer units very shortly. So let's take the armor NSS. I, that's kind of a rare item. The Guardian ECM would be nice too, but those are you find those more often than you find the armor NSS's. So let's just confirm this. Alright, Anasazi piece, Blackjack, don't really care. One, two, three, four, five Vindicator pieces. There's the Wolverine, two pieces right there. It's a different version of the Wolverine we have, but uh, that should give us a Wolverine. Hmm. Oh, I have to refuse any changes in compensation right now. I don't think I can pay anybody else anything. Be nice to be able to pay more people, but uh, if we get this later on, I'm giving everybody a bonus. So, payroll and blank spare are looking to get <laughs> get paid more, and it's like, you know what, guys, you're not piloting anything right now. So, sorry. You guys can have low spirits all you want. If you guys want to jump ship, feel free. But uh, right now, it's got to be that way. Alright, whole lance was damaged. 7,362, which is nothing. Alright. Made a little bit of money off that. We didn't pick up a Wolverine. What? Does that not count? I thought you could assemble parts. Are you serious, storage? EDMX. We've got one, two, and four. Five. Oh, we're short one. Are you serious? We're short one Wolverine piece. No. Oh, wait, we got two right here. Two Wolverine C's. Maybe because it's it's a clan mech. That's why it doesn't count. I think that's why. So we got the six M. Has no quirks. One R. Impaired movement. 6R is normal, so maybe we just need one more piece. It looks like that way. I guess because it's a clan mech, it doesn't count. Well, that really stinks. Okay, financial report in three days. Let's quickly go sell some stuff here. I was really hoping for that Wolverine. Oh, okay, let's sell. We got the triple XL uh, engine that we're going to get rid of. Now, while that gives us a lot of weight, we can add a lot of stuff. All it takes, like I said, is that one torso hit and you're done, right? So, you need to be able to operate without a torso, especially against large, uh, here we go, against um, large amounts of enemies. So, we're going to get rid of that, just this triple XL engine. It's great salvage if you can get it, especially because it's like, 800,000. So now we're over a million here. So let's go to um, actually we're in the store so let's go to buy here because I remember there was a double plus or a single plus uh, arm mount. I want to pick that up. 
Uh, we might not use it on the mechs we have now, but we might, we'll definitely have use for it later on. So it's plus three to arm mounted accuracy, which is great. So we're going to buy that. New equipment available. And I don't think there was anything else here that we wanted. Heat banks. Eh, the small ones, I don't think they're really worth it. We haven't been uh, having that much problem with heat, although we've been piloting on a lot of really, really warm planets, so we've been doing okay. All right, so let's just quickly go back here, and we're going to go through our financial report that work order you submitted is complete. and get our pilots back. So, Lothian League de declared war on uh, Marion Hegemony. Huh. Outworlds Alliance and Draconis Combine. Torian and Capellan. Sakinis Federation joined the war versus Lyrian Commonwealth. Lyran Commonwealth declared war in Free Worlds League. Sakinis Federation joined the war against who, though? I guess against the Lyran Commonwealth? Magister of Can Canopus joined the war on the Lyran side. Pre Rassel Hag, Oberon. Okay, interesting. So we might have. Looks like we got war going on again. It's always good for business. Three hundred thousand. Not bad. All right, a couple more days. Our pilots are back, and then we'll end this episode. And the next time we're back, um, we are going to see what's going on with the war. Um, I don't know if there's any planets have actually changed hands yet. Let's have a look at the map here. Yeah, it just started, right? So um, we're not going to know right away. Yeah, it'll be like a month before we find out. But I think we can probably jump into Steiner space here. Um, nine days. Oh, they took Circinus. Lyran Commonwealth took Circinus Federation. Or took Circinus from the Circinus Federation. Are you serious? Already, huh? Free Worlds League, Lyran. So, yeah. Before we go, I'm just going to jump here real quick to see what kind of contracts we can get there. Maybe we can flip it back. As you can see, I kind of like the little guy. I like I like fighting for the uh, um, the uh, different rim world. Uh, I don't want to call them countries, but federation of planets or whatever you want to call them. I like fighting for the uh, the little guy out here against the man, quote unquote. So I'm hoping that uh, we'll be able to pull off a few missions to uh, flip the planet back from uh, House Steiner right back to Circinus Federation hands. We've arrived at our destination, Commander. Quickly have a look at the store here. So we've already used up half of our resources that we had there. Large laser double plus, don't need it. I'm um, 20, double plus PPC. That's actually kind of not bad. Double stability and uh, minus 10 heat. But I think we'll leave that out for now. SRM6, double plus, ECM Guardian. See what I mean? These things are like, you can find these everywhere. All right. So let's have a quick look at uh, the contracts before we go here. And once again, while this is loading, we're, we're going to... Uh, go into the barracks and check our mech wires. Come on, figure it out. Oh, looks like we got a uh, priority mission, but it's not on this planet. Come on, right into the barracks. Here we go. You can do it. Let's do it. There we go. Nothing on blank spare. I'm standing by. Okay, flatliner. Uh, we want to go some pil more piloting. Probably not. We're gonna wait. He's a missile boat, so we want to get some uh, more um, tactics you. on him. Almost got enough to get uh, piloting our guts or something. If we want to raise that up. Height, you still doing fine? Yep. Payrolls almost there. Van skater, we're waiting to get to this, so we're fine. Okay, so let's see what our contracts give us. So. 
their Circinus Federation likes us enough that they're going to give us a priority mission, but we're not going to take that. It's a two skull. It's kind of what's what the range we want to go in. But it doesn't look like there's any Circinus Federation missions here, but I guess if we do missions against like if we do one man one man's art uh, who's he being held by Merrick so yeah if we do some local government contracts I think will probably give us the best results for trying to flip this con this uh, planet back I think that's what we'll do maybe we can do intelligence agent too next time this should be a nice tough one it's a recovery but two and a half skulls so good chance to uh, meet, meet up against some more heavy mechs and then we can might even be able to do the Merrick one as well right wait it's how Steiner we want to go against right not Merrick so that's Merrick uh, is there any Steiner ones here because maybe we just bail on this planet do the priority mission somewhere else. Ambush convoy at one and a half skulls. It's really not worth it. That's against the Lyran call. That's against. Yeah, we could take that one. Anyway, we're gonna leave it there. I think we're gonna do intelligence agent next time. Um, because I'm thinking even if it's a Lyran patrol, so it is against uh, House Steiner. So I think we'll do that next time. But until then, um, wish you all happy road teching, and I'll see you later.